An indefinite lockdown is not possible or realistic, however successful it may be in curbing the spread of the disease. Unless and until there is a vaccine for COVID-19, we will need to be on our toes. But how can the public participate in breaking the transmission of the disease? First, let's understand how the COVID-19 spreads. In the study of diseases, there's something known as the epidemiological triad. Imagine a triangle with three vertices, with the virus at one end or the agent, the person affected or the host, and the environment as the third uh, vertice, the environment or the surface. So the virus transmits between these three vertices as three different pathways. So we need to terminate the virus uh, along these three pathways. And the first and foremost, most important step for that is hand hygiene or hand washing. Now, we can kill off the disease at the vertex of the virus by finding an effective vaccine or drug or treatment. We can eliminate transmission of the virus between the environment or surface and the host by disinfecting. For person-to-person -person transmission or direct transmission, social distancing, not touching the face, wearing masks and hand hygiene is crucial. At the level of the local authorities, contact tracing is important. Contact tracing, it forms one of the pillars of infectious disease surveillance and outbreak management. The faster we are able to identify contacts, the sooner we can quarantine people and screen for symptoms. This goes a long way in breaking the chain of transmission. So contact tracing has three steps. First, contact identification. That is, after identifying a positive case, we track down the contacts who could be anyone from a family member to a friend to a colleague or the healthcare provider. The second step is contact listing. In this stage, we list down the contacts and make them aware of their contact status. This is a key step in communicating the effects of the disease and its transmission. These people are then isolated or quarantined depending on the severity of their symptoms. This brings us to the third and final stage, which is contact follow-up. This is the job of surveillance teams. Upon feedback from the contacts, these teams decide whether to escalate their treatment or not. This is understandably a resource-intensive process and can be a logistical nightmare. But can it be made simpler? To an extent, yes. So we would like to propose a simple campaign known as the When, Where, Who campaign. So it's very simple. Uh, as you go about your daily interactions, we would just suggest that you take out a moment of your time and just jot down those interactions in an organized manner. For example, if I were to visit the market in the morning today and I met my neighbor Nikhil over there and I interacted with the cashier Rajesh at the same time. So then I would just note it down as 20th April, 7 a.m. Visited local market, interacted with neighbor Nikhil, cashier Rajesh. So if you process this information in in the manner of a time, place and person, then these can serve two purposes. I mean, this, this whole process of just listing down your daily interactions can serve two purposes. One, of course, it can make the process, the difficult process of contact tracing itself a bit easier. Secondly, it can help us introspect on our avoidable and non-essential interactions that we may have throughout the day. So for such record keeping to be effective, community participation is key. That is how Kerala has achieved the success it has so far with the COVID-19 and earlier with the Nipah outbreak. We must all do our part as well. Community participation is definitely the key. How do we do that? Firstly, we must adhere to the guidelines and advisories that are given to us. We can help spread this information, this authenticated information with our friends and relatives. We can also practice these measures that help break the chain of transmission. Hand hygiene, hand washing, social distancing, staying at home and wearing masks where necessary. These, these measures will definitely help. We can also practice uh, more measures such as the When, Where, Who campaign, where we can limit our interactions, our non-essential and avoidable interactions, if we know our interactions and jot them down in an organized manner of time, place and person. So as we all know, it's these little things that, and little victories that win battles and eventually help us win the war.